and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today I have a November book unhaul video for you. Um, for some reason I've just definitely been having this itch to make sure that I have everything that I want on my bookshelf and get rid of anything that I don't want on my bookshelf. And since then I've also started doing books for trade which means that a lot of my books are just kind of like flying off to the mailbox without remembering to show you that I'm getting rid of them. So I figured today would be a good time to show you what I'm getting rid of so that way um, if I trade them by accident before I tell you, they're, they're shown. <laughs> um, so some books that I've already gotten rid of are The Dinner List. I mean, they're gonna, I'm going to try to like insert it somewhere. So I got rid of The Dinner List. I've gotten rid of... Um, Watching You, I've gotten rid of um, The Girl from Cold River or something like that. What else did I get rid of? Um, as Bright as Heaven, I just decided that was in my last video where I kind of, people were saying that it was kind of good, but I realized it just wasn't sparking my interest. There was no love there, so I decided to get rid of that one. Um, what other one did I just get rid of? Ch the Sisters Chase. And if I think of any other ones, I'll probably just insert it right here because I can't think. Oh, what other ones did I get rid of? I think that might have been it. Let me double check. Yeah. The Dinner List, As Bright as Heaven, The Sisters Chase, and Watching You. I think that might be it. Um, and then the rest I have right here. So I've got Into Thin Air by John Krakauer. This is a nonfiction book that I was really, really interested in. And interested in, oh, and I've tried to pick it up a couple different times, and it just hasn't been a thing that I've been interested. Like I, it hasn't been able to hold my attention long enough to actually continue past the first page. So, unfortunately, this one is getting unhauled. I've already. Um, set to trade with somebody for this but they're not sending it till the end of the week so I haven't packaged this one up yet but this one is already often traded. Um, then I'm getting rid of Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell because I did get rid of Watching You and I know I just recently got her newest book but I feel like they're not books that I'm going to go back and reread. She's not an author that I feel like I need to collect like a Peter Swanson or a Riley Sager. Like her books are kind of a one and done kind of thing for me so I'm not interested in keeping this one anymore. Um, again, but, but Better by Christine Riccio. I bought this one because I think I had a free credit, possibly. I don't remember. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a chance. I feel like her book could be good. And then I was sitting here trying to pick out books to put on my book for trade paid, um, post. And I was like, hmm, maybe I can do this one. I don't know. And then I was like, let me just read the first chapter. And I read the first chapter and I just kind of was like, no. Like, she refers to, like, her journals as horcruxes. And, like, I just felt like it was going to be one of those books that just puts in, like, current trends to, like, set the time. And just, like, I'm just going to name drop a whole bunch of things so that way I feel relevant. I don't know. It just didn't seem like it was going to be something that I was actually going to love. So I think I'm going to be getting rid of this one. This one is kind of sad to me. This is The Dark Lake by Sarah Bailey. I have a feeling I'm going to end up repurchasing this one, just not as a book of the month um, book. I read the first book, and I really, really liked it. And I read the second one, and it was okay. Didn't hate it, but I liked it. I reviewed it for NetGalley. So I never got it because I thought it was going to be a book of the month choice. And then it never turned into a book of the month choice, so it never matched. So I never bought it. And book three recently just came out, but not in America, I don't think. Like, I follow her on Instagram, and I've seen her release it. I've seen her talk about it, but it's not here. So I have a feeling I'm going to have to give in and purchase them from Book Depository at some point. So there's no point in me keeping this beautiful, I mean, I love this cover, this beautiful book of the month edition because of the fact that I think I'm going to have to repurchase them anyways in different covers. So that's kind of the story of this one. I really liked this one. I don't want to get rid of this one. Maybe I'll keep it. I don't like until I could pre like get the other ones, but we'll see. Then this one, I just, I really enjoyed this book. I don't remember if I rated it because I tend to not rate 
I tend to not rate memoirs, but I really enjoyed my time reading this story. I just feel like I would never go back to reread it. Um, and that is After the Eclipse by Sarah Perry. This is um, about a woman whose mother was, like, murdered. And she, like, found her body and, like, had a run. Like, it was not a good thing. And it was just kind of her moving on from that and dealing with her grief and trying to, fi like, figure things out. Um, so I really enjoyed this. I just don't foresee myself rereading this. So if I could find a book of the month that I would treat, rather read to trade for, I'd rather do that than keep it on my shelf. But I did enjoy this one. Um, and then the rest of the books are not book of the month books. These are just random books. Um, so I'm going to be getting rid of Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Um, I got this out of whim for a dollar. The condition's not the best either. Um, I was like, you know, I might want to continue on with this. And then this past year I reread, um, well I didn't reread, I reread, ugh, words. Um, I read the Shadow, the Tales from the Shadow Hunter um, Academy, which is like Simon's story. And I just feel like my time with the Shadow Hunters has kind of come and gone. Um, I'm going to keep the Magnus Bane um, bind up just because I feel like if there was a book that I would want to continue reading, it would be that one because I did like Magnus Bane and that's not continuing the story. This trilogy is huge. This book is huge. The next book is huge. And the third book just came out and that one was huge. I don't foresee myself ever being like, you know what? I really wish I had a 700 page Cassandra Clare book to read. I don't ever find myself saying that. And if I did, I have the original series and I have the immortal. So I have the infernal devices and the, um, mortal instrument series. If I ever feel like I want to reread it, I don't feel like getting caught up in another trilogy at this point. Um, a lot of these books you're going to recognize because a lot of these were in my, um, series of trash my tbr um and then some of them are not but a lot of these are on my trash my tbr video um i'm gonna get rid of strawberry hill i know this is really cute and i hate getting rid of this but i just don't ever foresee myself gravitating to this i don't necessarily love mass market paperbacks so it takes a lot for me like i have to be interested in them and i just feel like i'm not interested anymore so this one's gonna go um, the Light Over London by Julia Kelly. I thought that I would like this one. I just don't foresee myself picking it up. I don't know why. I just, people were saying that this is on their TBR too, but for some reason I'm just not interested. Granted, like I said, this basket will probably sit in my room for a while. So if I change my mind, I could definitely pick this one back up. So this one like is still like I'm on the fence about, but I feel like I have other historical fiction books that I'd rather read more. This one kind of makes me sad. So this is The Little Shop of Found Things by Paula um, Braxton. This was sent to me to possibly review from the person who um, published The Dream Daughter by Diane Chamberlain. They knew I really liked that one, so they thought I would really like this one. And she is apparently a YouTuber. Um, but unfortunately, I liked Diane Chamberlain's The Dream Daughter for the way she wrote it and they thought that because that was kind of time travel that this is time travel and I would like that but I'm not a big time travel fan in general um and I just I remember getting this and I was so excited to read it and um I read like the first let's see 28 pages and then I just never went back to it I just I feel really guilty that I didn't read it. So you never know. My guilt might get back to me. And this might come back out of the basket. But for right now. I just. I don't know. If you've read this. If you've read this. Do you think I would like it? Please let me know. It could have just been. My mindset at that point in time. Maybe I need to try it again. But. Like I said. Please let me know if you've read this. <laughs> this has been in like three videos. In the past like month. I feel like. So this is Dreaming in Chocolate by Susan Bishop Crispel. I am just not interested. Every time I see it, I'm like, eh. I just, I don't know. I just don't care. I don't want to read it. I would love a chocolate, hot chocolate shop like the book, but I just don't want the book. 
Um, I'm going to get rid of the duology Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodden. I enjoyed this one not as much as I wanted to and then I got this one off book outlet and I thought I would read it but it's massive and I it's been so long since I've read Wolf by Wolf that I just feel like I would never be able to remember anything to pick this one up even if I read a synopsis I feel like I'd still forget and not be able to enjoy this. I'm also just not the type of person anymore who enjoys a like 600 page fantasy book. I'm just not that person anymore so sorry. Um, another book that you guys are probably all going to murder me for, I think I commented back on a lot of comments saying, oh yeah, I think I'm going to keep it now. Changed my mind, like this morning. Um, and that is The Storyteller by Jodi Picoult. Don't kill me. Um, I know this has got amazing, amazing reviews, but I feel like I mean, I got it for a dollar. I could totally probably go back to the store and buy it for a dollar again if I wanted to. But I just feel like being over 500 pages, I didn't really love Joey's last book. I feel like I could see this sitting on my shelf for months, if not years, before I pick it up. Just because I just feel like I've got other things that I'm interested in. It's another World War II novel, and I just, I don't know. I feel like there's shorter World War II novels that I'd much rather read than, again, over 500 page book. Not interested. I just... My life has changed in the sense of, like, back in the day, I used to love reading things that were that long. Now, most of the time, they don't, they're never worth the length that they are, so I'm not interested. Um, I decided to get rid of By Invitation Only by Dorothea Benton. Frank, again, gorgeous, beautiful cover by that I did, but I was looking, I decided to read the first chapter, and I just was not impressed and not intrigued so it's not gonna stay. Um this kills me too. I'm gonna be getting rid of Shadow and Bone and Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. I think that this is a series that one the cover change really got me. The cover change really got me. Oh dog. <laughs> um the cover change really got me to be interested and then I read Shadow and Bone and this is sat on my shelf for a really long time and I just feel like again it's not going to happen let's see I just feel like I have passed my liking of it. yeah 432 pages I just I don't know again it's been sitting in my it'll sit in my thing and if I'm interested again we'll see um it's also been a while since I've read this one, so I don't actually remember anything to help me out with this one. So we'll see. I'll hold on to it for a little bit longer, but more than likely it's going. Bye-bye. This is also another series that I've also already traded, which is what sparked my idea of I need to film this before I get rid of everything and all of a sudden I have nothing to show you. Um, I'm getting rid of my Snow Like Ashes trilogy. So Snow Like Ashes, Ice Like Fire, and Frost Like Night. I listened to all three of these on audiobook. Um, I might have read this one physically, but these I definitely listened to on audiobook, I think. And they were good. I just, I don't plan on rereading them. They're not, like, my favorites. They're not, like, Hunger Games or The Book of Ivy. Like, they're not my favorites, so there's no point in keeping these. So these are getting traded to a dear Facebook person who is sending me a book, and I'm going to send her these. <laughs> Um, and then the last book I'm getting rid of is Tell Her No Lies by Kelly Irvin. This is one of the last few books that I got sent by the Fiction Guild, and I thought I would like it because it's a thriller, and I did another one of those, like, try chapters, and I read the first chapter, and I'm just not interested. So those are all the books that I am currently getting rid of or have gotten rid of already. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for all of your help in my trash or treasure tag. I definitely saved a bunch because of you guys. So thank you so much. You guys are too kind because all of you treasured all of my books instead of trashing them. So it was very hard to still decide what I wanted to trash after that. So, <laughs> But thank you guys. Um, and I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye, everybody.